Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, amateur magician, um, semi-professional magician, parapsychological researcher, uh, Fortean skeptic, and technical agnostic. Um, I'm something of a, uh, like I said, I've generally been one for debunking sci phenomena on my videos, but in this case, I'm going to have to come in on the side of the parapsychologist uh, for a couple of problems in your particular case. Um, firstly, I'm going to go in reverse order. Um, you said it's impossible they would do that in other fields, right? Wrong! Medicine is a prominently known example. There uh, was a, um, if you go around looking on YouTube, there's a, uh, you can find videos about a, um, about a new vaccination against the human papillomavirus called Paxil. The company, uh, was it Bayer or I can't remember, but anyway, the company who was doing this only did a few trials, uh, did a little bit of a rash um, thing, and anyway, there's apparently plenty of evidence, even from the FDA and others, to suggest that the, um, that the, um, uh, the vaccine didn't actually protect against, uh, against, um, against the, uh, I mean, worked against the virus, but it didn't actually protect against cervical cancer, which was what it was claimed to do. Um, it was also claimed that there were minimal to no side effects, when in fact there might, there might well have been in other cases. Uh, there were some studies found about this, uh, one of which was from the, uh, from the, America, uh, the Journal of American Medical Association. Um, so that's an example right there. Um, clinical pharmaceuticals uh, have to do, uh, in some cases, hasty studies, just so this way they can get their drug on the market. So yes, there's profit in other studies. Um, also, in parapsychology, um, they would do it just to keep getting funding. I'm going to let you know a little bit of something, and this is uh, the actual history of the Gansfeld. Uh, well, something that you seem to, uh, something that seems to have been uh, forgotten in this particular uh, video. In the history of the Gansfeld, the group that started it was from the Kostler Parapsychological Institute, uh, the Kostler Parapsychological Unit, at the University of Edinburgh. This came out of a out of a grant that was provided for the uh, for uh, to found the unit. That fund is all the money that they have. There is very minimal uh, given in the way of um, funding. And as a matter of fact, um, parapsychologists uh, on occasion even had to shut down studies. Uh, the Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research Lab was an example of a lab that shut down after 28 years, partly because the, uh, the head of the physics department, and also its head, was retiring. And the second reason, because of the fact that its equipment was outdated by a few decades and was lacking in funding. Money. Um, Trying to uh, trying to uh, sex up results, as you said, is not um, has only been, uh, or more specifically, in some cases, outright fraud has only been found in three instances in parapsychological history. One of which, the sole Go uh, Godney experiments pertaining to uh, uh, precognition, um, uh, said um, uh, Sol, who was a uh, a colleague of Ryan's at the time, publicly admitted to fraud uh, after he was caught red-handed. And the other two, one of whom was in Austria, and the other whom was also another worker at uh, Rhine's Institute, both were caught by fellow experimenters who uh, caught them for fraud and ended up uh, they ended up reevaluating the entire um, parapsychologist's work and discovered that it was worthless and said uh, people were ousted. Um, one uh, again, these are in uh, reports in the Journal of Parapsychology and elsewhere. So, sexing up results in fraud is not necessarily the big it, is not necessarily going on here. Also. That 32% where they uh, where they did a, a meta analysis, they weren't meta analyzing every single study from the from the beginning of the period. The 32% was found in two consecutive replications, and even up till 2004. Currently, there are actually four re uh, meta analyses of f of different time periods. One of which from the late 1970s and 80s, which was a uh, a joint, uh, which was the uh, Hyman and Horniton. Um, experiment. The second, uh, the, the sorry, the um, that was the joint communique after uh, the first meta analysis with Daryl Bim. The second of which was uh, a joint was a meta analysis by uh, by Hyman, um, which uh, attempted to take into flaws, but that was found to be flawed. And again, you know, there was debate going on about that. The third one was done by Milton. Uh, was done um, by a uh, by a Julie Milton and Wiseman uh, in 1999. Um, but inter and that was the same. Does psi exist? Lack of replication of anomalous process of information transfer. But get a load of this. Julie Milton, um, and I, I can refer directly to the source here. This is from Skeptical Investigations, which I uh, quoted this second hand. Um, since the 1970s, one of the most popular telepathy experiments has been the Gansfield. Uh, now, where is it here? Um, uh, yes. Um, in, um, 
in uh, these uh, in many such trials, uh, subjects have scored significant, very significantly above chance levels, and several meta-analyses have shown an overall effect. In 1999, Richard Wiseman with his co and his colleague Julie Milton published a meta-analysis in the Psychological Bulletin that they claim no uh, show uh, show no uh, no overall significant effect, and published their and uh, publicized their findings widely in the media, claiming that ESP did not exist. The skept this skeptical claim generated a great deal of controversy in the technical and scientific journals, uh, both uh, because most of their colleagues considered the analysis biased and seriously flawed, both in the methods they had used, the statistical, that is, the statistical method used to select the studies was incorrect, um, uh, had, was, had been flawed. Uh, in particular, they had chosen to omit some recent and highly successful studies. Here's the kicker. Milton, 1999, Later admitted that when these that when these data were included in the analysis, the in the results were indeed positive and statistically significant. And the originals and the references for both studies are Milton and uh, are Milton and Wiseman, 1999 does exist. But then also from the same year, Milton 99 should uh, Gansfield research continue and uh, to be crucial uh, in search of a repli uh, for a replicable psi effect. Park one discussion paper an introduction to a lot of um, uh, electronic mail discussion journal of parapsychology 63 pages 309 to 350 35. Also as well bear in mind that the reason that there were multiple yeah, that the reason that there were multiple um, studies and stuff like that is because of the fact that there were issues in the first studies from the 1970s uh, pertaining to experimental leak and stuff like that. Hyman and Hornetson wrote a joint communique in 1985 which uh, where they gave recommendations for further tightened protocols and the like. There is now the newer experiments which have been going up till 2004 since 1985 and even some of the newer ones after that have been involved in newer techniques of using pseudo randomization and true randomization called the autogans field. And what this does is that, the, uh, is that people don't just randomly pick the first photo, uh, even if they randomly pick the first photo, the photos, the, the, the one true target and its three decoys are randomly selected every trial using a computer random number generator. Also, the, uh, the scientists can't lead on because of the fact that they don't have uh, access, they don't have the uh, data that's been randomly selected. Again, um, also, as well, bear in mind, uh, di uh, you're talking about different static or different ping pong balls. Those variables would not take into effect if the sender was too far away for there to be sensory leakage. In some of the most recent studies, they uh, in some of the most recent studies they used um, double, uh, you know, steel Faraday cages to prevent um, the. Um, you know, this was in just the most recent run, uh, the, the, the most recent meta-analysis of another 11 studies that happened since the 1999 one, which was published in 2001 or was it 2002? But anyway, um, again, there's further data on this online um, in the book. Um, some of this has been reprinted in areas like the Parapsychological Revolution, which are reprints of various papers. Um, but basically, I mean, like even in these ones, they had, um, they had completely new... Um, uh, steel walled air, uh, you know, Faraday cages to prevent for electronic signals coming through, you know, like micro radios. Um, you know, they've had they've had it completely new um, working. They've had four meta analyses, every one of which with tight with further tightened protocols has still allowed for statistically significant effects. And there are new studies going on even as we speak on this issue. Uh, one of the new ones, which was talked about on the National Geographic channel, is talking about uh, measuring of skin conductance levels using the Gans field um, to see if there's a statistically significant correlation uh, between when a sender is trying to send a, uh, you know, a vibe or what have you to someone who's halfway across the university campus and having their skin galvan, you know, having their, their fight or flight uh, reactions measured by a polygraph. I mean, the thing is that there are a wide variety of different attempts at meta-analysis. Your Video has effectively straw manned the um, has effectively straw manned by uh, over uh, by you know what it's done it's done a hasty generalization of the overall data, and what you need to do is actually take a more serious look into the um, the actual mathematics and the actual uh, science going on on this because there's a lot more to it than meets the eye or at least that you've presented in your video. Now, as a skeptic, I don't necessarily say that telepathy exists. However, um, I do think that uh, you've in, I. I would say, as a skeptic, I do think that you have inadvertently straw manned the argument um, of the actual of what is actually going on. And um, again, there are plenty of sources. If you would like actual references on uh, on more of this data, um, I have plenty in my favorites pages and other stuff like that, uh, straight to peer reviewed literature even, um, and other sources. Which, um, if you could email uh, message me with your email address, I'll send you the links. Toodles.